Today we will test if yellow V8 can be used for automated video understanding. What is video understanding? Video understanding is the process of analyzing video content to make sense of it, preferably automatically. Video understanding involves tasks such as object detection, action recognition, scene understanding and more. By leveraging deep learning models, we can automate the process of video understanding. We will extract frames from a video, and for each frame we will use yellow V8 to detect objects and label them. Yellow means you only look once. It is a state-of-the-art object detection system. Yellow version 8 is renowned for its speed and accuracy, making it suitable for various video understanding tasks. Given an input video, the program I have written will output two files, the same video but with bounded boxes around objects labeling them, and a text file containing which frame has what object. Once we have the text file with all the object labels, we can upload it to ChatGPT to explain the text file. We will check if yellow V8 detected objects make sense to ChatGPT, and if the ChatGPT built response makes sense to us. Here is an input video. It contains footage from a backyard barbecue with my family. It is a 30 second video with less than 1000 frames. This is a homemade video with quite a complex scene. I have a second video downloaded from Pexels. I'll provide a link to the Pexels video so that you can download it for testing. The Pexels video has a lot of vehicles in it. It is a street view of London. I'll provide the code and my homemade video on a GitHub page so that you can access both. Here is my code which uses yellow V8 and a few other Python packages. Again, it takes a video as input and generates another video as output. The output video has the detected objects in bounded boxes, which are labeled. Also, my program generates this text file that contains a line per frame listing the detected objects. Let us take a look at the output of my barbecue video, whether objects are detected well or not. I am detected as a person, which is always good. A chair is detected as a chair, which is excellent. A corn on the cob is detected as a hot dog and also as a banana. Not cool. The drumsticks are labeled as donuts and pizza. A drumstick by any other name would taste as great. Some parts of the cooking grate were detected as knives. Flame looked like a piece of carrot. There were many other incorrect detections. But note here that this model was pre-trained. We did not fine-tune this model with any of the new data we were providing. Here is the text file that my program generated. It listed all the objects it detected per frame. I uploaded the text file to ChatGPT. Then I asked it to explain the event of this video. It has provided a good description. Let's see what the event description is. ChatGPT says the video appears to depict a backyard picnic or outdoor gathering where food is being shared and consumed. That's correct. The presence of multiple people, dining tables, and a variety of foods supports this conclusion. Actually, it saw in the frames there are detected people, but practically it was just me in this video. ChatGPT thought that in the text file, these detected people are coming from different persons. The continuous appearance of dining-related objects such as bowls, cups, and utensils further reinforces the setting as a picnic or similar outdoor social event. Overall, even though Yellow made mistakes in detecting objects, it seems whenever we provided the text file with the detected objects to ChatGPT, ChatGPT was able to figure out that it's a backyard picnic or some social event outdoor, which is pretty amazing. Instead of using ChatGPT here, we could do the 
same thing by using OpenAI's API to summarize this text file. Now that we have a good idea of how Yellow performed in video understanding, in my video, let us do some test with the Pexels video that has a view of a London street. Yellow performed very well with this video. It detected the cars very well and also it detected the bus. It incorrectly labeled a chimney as a traffic light. My program also generated a text file which you can see right here on the screen. You can upload this text file to ChatGPT just like the previous example that I demonstrated. For the sake of brevity, I'm not going to demonstrate that again with this particular file. This program did well with the street view video compared to my barbecue video. Note that my barbecue video is complex and it contained many objects that yellow model did not see before. We can make yellow V8 smarter by training it with more data with new objects, but that can be an expensive process. So I was searching for a video understanding mechanism that requires no additional training. And I have found that. The next video will explain a mind-blowing technique for video understanding. That mind-blowing technique can detect and explain complex video content without any additional training. By the way, the codes of this video and the next video will be available with the next video. See you soon there.